the first thing that you need to do is to work on the configurations the configuration deals with setting up the front end of the site uh, let me explain what that means let's go to system configuration now you have different tabs here that allows you to put the right settings so you want to make sure that you go through this so for the store name JSTOR And then, of course, your phone number, you can put in whatever. Okay. And if you have a fax number, too, you can put that there. I'm just putting in some demo stuff here. And then next, you have go to the local. And you get to choose the default country. So, United States. And you want to pick the zip the region and here you want to select the default currencies right now there are three you have the euro you have the, the pounds and you have the dollar so I'm just looked at it default auto update currency you can leave that to yes and then for the length you can choose uh, centimeters inches of pounds all right. Well, I'm just picking pounds because here in the U.S., that's what we mainly use. All right. Next, you want to go to options. Now, with the options, what this is asking you is how many items per page do you want to show. So, if you want to leave this at 15, you can put it at 10. You can leave it at 20. You can put whatever number you want to put here and that's what's going to show on the front end and then default items per row how many items per row do you want um, for cat when you have a catalog mode people can actually purchase when stuff is on catalog mode it's mainly just to view so you want to leave that to off uh, default menu items this is blank right now because we haven't created anything yet and then you want to go through the products the category count you want to go through the taxes. We haven't set this stuff up at the moment yet. Uh, display price with tax. You can have. Do you want to display the price with the tag? Yes or no. Just look at it. No. And then account. So you just go through these and put the the settings that you know you want to have for your store. And then the type of file extensions what extensions you know allow this or the current extensions that are allowed okay so the basic part of it now looks okay keep in mind that we're going through each and every part as I mentioned before so the image this is where you get to set the sizes for the product image the thumbnail the additional product image so for example, if you feel that a product image is too small, this is, you know, you can always come here to change that size of it. So go through these. For now, the default settings will work, but if you want something different, then you can always change that. And then the layout, the theme is just a basic bootstrap. All right, leave that as it is sorted in. Now at the sorted in, this is how you want people to be able to sort through the products on the front end. By default, it's set to these, but you can change those if you want to. And then for social, you can always put in your Facebook um, application ID here. Enable social that, yes. And you can also choose the fonts. For the button, you want it to be light or dark. So all these right now are set to yes because these are the social features and it's so important for you to have social features so people can be able to promote your products on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Google and LinkedIn and then you have the options here of choosing the layout you want it to be vertical or horizontal so just leave it horizontal right now and then you want to go to mail 
So if you want to be alerted, you know, for the main store, or when a new order comes in, you can put put that in here. Okay, so the configuration right now is complete. So next, you just click save. Configuration saved, so you're done with this part.